Okay, our form is ready. Now let's add a button and implement saving a customer. So back to our view, scroll down. At the bottom of this view, before this closing curly brace, which is the end of the form, I'm gonna add a button. The type of this button should be submit to submit the form. And I'm gonna give it a couple of bootstrap classes. BTN, which is required by all buttons, and BTN-primary, which gives it the color used to represent the primary action used on this field. And we call this save. Now, if you scroll up, you see that earlier when we created this form, we set the name of the target action to create. So let's create this action. Back in the controller, MVC action four tab, we call it create. Now we need to apply HTTP post attribute to this action to make sure it can only be called using HTTP post and not HTTP get. As a best practice, if your actions modify data, they should never be accessible via HTTP get. Okay, next I'm gonna add a parameter here. Because the model behind our view is of type new customer view model, we can use this type here and MVC framework will automatically map request data to this object. This is what we call model binding. So MVC framework binds this model to the request data. So let's see model binding in action. I'm gonna put a breakpoint here with F9 and run the application in debug mode with F5. Okay, this takes us to our home page. So we should manually go to customers slash new. Now right click on an empty area and select inspect. Select network tab here. Now fill out the form, name is Mosh, date of birth, 1st January 2000. Subscribe to newsletter, I tick that, and select the membership type, pay as you go. Save. Now go back to browser. In the network tab, we can see our request. Let's click this. Select headers tab here. Scroll down. Let me expand this so we can see more clearly. Look, this is our form data. Customer.name is Mosh, customer.birthdate, and so on. So when this request goes to our application, MVC framework will use these properties to initialize the parameter of our action. Now back to Visual Studio. Here's our parameter. Let's inspect it. Customer. You can see birth date set to 1st of January 2000. Is subscribed is set to true. Membership type ID is one, but membership type is null because we didn't have a property by that name in form data. Now let's stop the debugger with shift and F5. Now if we change the type of this parameter to customer, MVC framework is smart enough to bind this object to form data because all the keys in the form data were prefixed with customer. All right, so this is how model binding works. Next, I'm going to show you how to add this customer to the database.